Join me to find out how the Guilford County real estate market is beginning to take shape in the 2019 year. Now that we've finished two months, let's take a look at how things are beginning to shape up. If you followed me in January, you know that there were 877 homes on the market and um, there were 291 homes that were under contact contract in January. We have seen an increase in our market activity in the month of February. We, we had market inventory that increased to 1,176 homes on the market and we had 566 homes go under contract. So we're seeing the market pick up a little bit. We're hopeful that that's going to continue forward as we near the spring market. But again, we're not out of the winter season yet, so we'll have to just stay tuned because our market has slowed down a little bit, as you know, at the end of the fourth quarter and we're hoping to see that pick back up. Again, um, the lower the price point, those homes that are under $250,000, that's the most active market segment that we have. We've got 460 homes on the market under $250,000, and we have 393 homes under $250,000 that are currently under contract. Conversely, the higher you go up in price point, the slower that gets or the lower that number gets. Um, we have um, 139 homes on the market, over $600,000 and only 22 under contract. When we look at February, our um, closings by price point um, also is the highest and the lower price point under $250,000. And then we um, look at closings from by month, the month of February was a little bit slower. Keep in mind that closings lag behind when these homes went under contract. So closings that took place in February more than likely went under contract in January, December, November, October. So that could be the reason for that number of closings going down. Our median sales price remained consistent at about 175,000. Our average days on market remained consistent in the 60s range, as did the average close price to list price remaining consistent about 98 and the average price per square foot remain consistent about $98 a square foot. Then my favorite market indicator is absorption rate. Again, those homes priced under $250,000, we've got less than one month supply of inventory, or I should say specifically 1.2 month supply of inventory. And then we jump up to the $600,000 price point and we've got 11 months of inventory on the market and those price points in between um, stair step down to eight months and three months respectively. To find out how this information affects your particular real estate needs or your particular um, um, home, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask me. We're happy to um, um, to equate this to your particular situation. This is Michelle Porter with Berkshire Hathaway Yost and Little Realty.